And I told you that well, we'll be talking about Ghana's great. It will premiere this evening right here on the channel. Join us, but on Joy FM this morning, you can get all the latest update. But the main producer will be joining us. We'll look at many varied interest areas, what may have prompted him to uh, start this great series or be the producer for the first edition of Ghana's great. And uh, you would know that uh, we have um, the young, handsome John and Jacob Kufour, uh, just behind me. And then also the older version of the younger man who became president of our republic from 2001 and ended his tenure in 2008. And what a man he was. Uh, for some of us who came close to him, we also do know that he was a man who uh, was very circumspect in his decision making. But it's not what about uh, it's not what uh, it's not about what I think. It's about what the people who were closest to him think, and their experiences of him, what they thought he was and still think he is, uh, his achievement, his um, some of his faults or flaws as well. Because we're all human, aren't we? And uh, Kuku Usupepra will be joining me right here this morning. We will look at. The man we're featuring in the first of uh, the series as we're going to have Ghana's Greats. And uh, we'll take a look at John Ejekum Kufo, former president John Ejekum Kufo. But we'll also we'll have some great interaction with uh, Mari Kofigani. He uh, is uh, an individual who is aspiring to become a presidential candidate uh, without any political party as an independent presidential candidate. But you will uh, would have uh, gotten to know him better uh, as you also heard him speak in that uh, minority platform debate that we made available uh, through uh, through to all of you and to them as well that imani uh, africa and then join news platform that debate again that was moderated by the head of the political decks right here join news evans mensa and then also mfr powell and what a pair they are, but it was also very educative as well. And Marek Kofigane will be joining uh, me this morning. We'll have some great interaction uh, right here in the studio. In the meantime, we also have to tell you about the sad demise or passing on of one of uh, the, the notable brains we have in the multimedia group, Love FM's and Insura FM's own news editor, someone who contributes significantly to content that also is generated right here on Joy News. And we're sharing some memories with um, our colleagues who got to know him. And uh, as we do that, we will share some of these experiences, some of these memories from our colleagues on Alaji Said Ali Yakub. Ajekum Kufour, having been elected, having been elected to the high office of the President of the Republic of Ghana, to the high office of the President of the Republic of Ghana.
John Ajakumukufo was born on December 8, 1938, in Kumase, Ghana. He was born the seventh of ten children to Nana Kwejo Ajakum, head of the Oyoko royal family, and Nana Amadapa, a queen mother. His family has royal Asante lineage. He's from a middle class, well, not even a middle class, but in terms of uh, the, the social structure in Kumasi, from an upper class family, with uncles and aunties, with grandmothers who were very well known, and who had cultivated the habit of um, ingratiating themselves in, 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 the, in the Kumasi sociology of things. And they had everything to, to, to back that. The history favored them. I know him from childhood days. His late uncle, Kona Napija Hime, was a close friend to my father, opening Kabra Puku, also known as Kijitia Puku. They also had intimate relationship with the Otun for them by name Sir Osaj by Prempe the second. So this was three people who were related. Apejefie is very close to where I lived. This is too true. So children from that house will go there and they will come there and we're playing together. The bond of friendship grew even stronger when both of them entered one of Ghana's finest secondary schools, Prempe College, in 1959. At school, Kofo was good at both academics and sports. I found him to be very a brilliant art scholar and also a person born with innate wisdom. He also, for one reason or another, joined the cadet corps and rose through the ranks to become the commanding officer. Maybe he was learning skills for, lead, for leadership in future. Ghana's greats. The start of a new series right here. And we have to celebrate our heroes while they live. And of course, it's going to focus on the ruling class, but also, I'm sure, over time, uh, those uh, ordinary people as well. But um, the producer of the first in the series of uh, this great piece is Kweku Ousu Preprap. And uh, Kweku, good morning to you. Koko, can you hear me? Okay, so we'll try and go back to him, but Koko Superprise is ready to give us the update on uh, what in, informed all this, uh, because you know that the former president, John Ejakum Kofor, came into office in 2001 after winning the 2000 presidential elections. His party also had the overwhelming majority in parliament and so he had uh, all the parliamentarians on his side including even some opposition parties who gravitated towards the majority in parliament at the time and having commenced his rulership as the head of the executive of our country from 2001 of course it ended in 2008 but we also do know he's been credited for many development that we've seen in our fourth republic. He is also credited to have helped, shaped, and consolidated our dispensation, our democratic dispensation as we have it today. Uh, he was succeeded by uh, former president, Professor John Evans Atamils, uh, when, of course, he wasn't running. Uh, we held the 2008 uh, presidential and parliamentary elections. Well, I have uh, Kuku Superpra. Um, joining me and uh, good morning to you Kweku. Good morning uh, Roland. Yeah great and and and, the, and this is a, a this is a great piece. Um, w w what informed having 
put together, or even just thinking about this great series, Ghana's Great? Okay, so Roland, you realize that um, the media space often have uh, tributes pouring in for uh, people when they die, and we begin to tell stories about them, trying to find their old friends, colleagues, wives, or husbands, and people that are close to them so that we can retell their stories. And that's been a convention for many years. So upon that realization, we decided that we need to change the narrative and now tell the stories of heroes and great men, phenomenal leaders, and ordinary people who have, have achieved certain uh, levels of extraordinariness um, in a special way whilst they are alive. So one day we had a conversation, myself and Elvis and a few other people, and this dawned on us when um, the former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan passed on. And then we were literally scraping the bottom of the pan, trying to identify people who knew him, who worked with him, friends that we could now talk to or bring into the media space to now understand the life of the person. And then we realized we, we needed to avoid this shameful, uh, inappropriate behavior, and now start telling the stories of heroes and heroines in greatness whilst the people are alive so that they can see, hear, understand, and have a total comprehension of what others feel or think about themselves and, and what, they, what they meant to humanity. In, uh, in all your sojourn, trying to speak to varied people, one of the foremost personalities I saw in your promo there was Dr. Richard Anani, somebody who was very close to because he was a roads minister, health minister before, who I also know um, was very close to, or is very close to the former president. Uh, look, for all these varied personalities that you spoke to, what is the one thing that struck you about him, John Ejekompopo? Phenomenal, extraordinary leadership, a great human being. These are words that echoed in, in the expressions, in the emotives, and the communication that the people gave me. You know, these are, I mean, the people that are in this documentary are people who have known him from maybe from age eight or five, so today, you saw that old man, um, um, Dr. Kwame Koku. He has been a friend to President Kofu from childhood. He he's even forgotten how long he's known the the man. They are all <laughs> they are both the same age, so they grew up as peers. Yeah, and went to the same school. And so when such a person is speaking of President Kofu in such a way. Having had a living recording of a personal experience in a journey with an individual, and he tells you that this is a man who is extraordinary in every sphere of life and touched everything that was great and made history, it is important that we record this history and make the people who have made the history see the history being, being, being portrayed to the whole of humanity in an extraordinary way. And that's what we've sought to do in this project. Look, um, I, I used to report back in the castle, not as a senior reporter though, but uh, as somebody who would always deputize for my seniors. And he always appeared to be calm, uh, has all these uh, drooling, sleepy, but piercing eyes as well. But he was a giant boy, oh boy, he was very thick and tall. Um, did they say that yeah, he was slow but sure, as the name or the accolade or the refrain was at the time? Did, did, did he really be the man that uh, was the man that they said he was? Yes, exactly. They, they see behind these calm eyes, 
a very strong person, a very determined, resolute person with an unflinching chain of thoughts in everything that he does. They see in this gentle frame of, of a human being, someone who wants to carry the weight of a nation from, from, from poverty to a point where people have a reason to wake up the next morning. He was quiet and he's still quiet, he's gentle. And Roland, let me tell you something. We went to premiere this documentary to him and you still see this <laughs> old man talking and exuding so much energy. And that tells you that really the body might be weak, but the soul and spirit of this great man yeah. is still alive and is still strong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, uh, Cop, uh, Kuku Super Prepper, we have to continue this on news decks. You, you, you have so many experiences just filming alone. Now, the experiences of the people that he lived with, uh, who also acquainted uh, or became acquainted um, with him, are all in the documentary. But we, we have to continue the premiere on his decks.